Here we go, starting off CNC break number 12,964. Yeah, right now I think, what is it? It's Ultra Pro and MNT, which is sweet. I gotta figure out what my next step is though, right? What is my next thing? Upper Deck is like my long term, I guess. I need a, maybe Leaf. Maybe I wanna own Leaf. How about that? All right, we got a Yamamoto canvas for the Oilers. Game jersey, Adam Henrik. Um, it's not an, uh, I can tell you, it's not an unintentional flaw, EI. Oh yeah, base packs retail. That always throws me off. I'm always so used to not. We've got a Young Guns canvas, Timothy Lilligren for the Maple Leafs. Timothy Lilligren. So, the thing that I somewhat heard is that the supplier that it did to cut all the cards is a very similar supplier to a gaming company. So I just don't think they knew what to do. Ryan McLeod, Young Guns for the Oilers, to be honest. So, that's what I kind of heard. Aho for the Canes. Take that for what it is coming from me. But that's what I heard. Base. We've got a Dazzlers for the Minnesota Wild. Kevin Fiala. Kevin Fiala. Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. Canvas. Kivaranta Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. Again, Jacob, as I said, I don't think they're saying they made it. I think the company. Zamula Young Guns. As I said, if they use a new supplier to cut, and that supplier only knows how to do it that way, Braden Shen for the Blues. It could be that case. So again, maybe Upper Deck did not know about it, which then you are technically somewhat correct, unintentional. But I don't think it was unintentional by the uh, other company. Portrait of Tyler Benson for the Oilers. That's what I'm saying, Blue Shirts. <laughs> Belzeal Young Guns for the Habs. You can go. Canvas of Connor Garland for the Coyotes. Young Guns, Peyton Kreps for the Golden Knights. You got to remember, and I'm not using this as an excuse, guys, for uh, Upper Deck. And again, I don't know all the details, but you got to remember, COVID hit a lot of companies hard. So if some of the companies used one supplier for cards... And they went out of business or they closed down for two, three months. But another one was open. Hella buck for the Jets portraits. You got to do what you got to do to keep stuff running, right? And Jake Evans, Young Guns for the Habs. So I do think stuff like that is happening. Like when people are shocked that there's a delay, I'm like, there is COVID going on. And there are companies that just legit just shut down, right? And every company is different. It doesn't mean if one company shuts down because for all we know, maybe maybe the, uh, the one main company, somebody got COVID and they had to shut down for two or three weeks. Maybe they lost all their employees uh, or fired them all for, you know, who knows what reason. I don't know. Uh, so do you have to put out an inferior product? Yeah, well, Zadina canvas for the Red Wings. Here's the honest thing, though, Greg. Not that I don't disagree with you that the, the debuts of Suzuki for the Habs is that the quality of the cards seem a bit lower. But in all honesty, is it really affecting this product at all? 
Like straight up, is it honestly changing anything? If anything, I don't think it's changed anything on sales. Predominant gold of Drew Doughty, LA Kings. Drew Doughty. Like that's what I'm saying, is I don't disagree with you. The cards are definitely a little more uh, diff different than previous years. Kucherov, Tampa Bay Lightning Worldwide. But at the end of the day, the cards are selling like crazy, and they still are. Marshawn for the Boston Bruins. And how many people know about the cuts in the, on the Lafreniere's and still are paying top dollar for them? More than Matthews right now. Kemper for the Coyotes. Connor McMichael, Young Guns for the Caps. We've got a Young Guns canvas, Liam Foodie. Does that, it, I'm not saying it makes sense. I'm just stating the fact. The thing is, why would they, why would Upper Deck need to discount if they know it's going to sell like hotcakes at the end of the day? Volardi Young Guns for the Kings, which again, I would say most collectors are aware of rounded corners, yet we still are selling out every single day. Canvas for the Blues of Kane Schwartz. Like, I guarantee you if I put up a break for tomorrow, four box break, it's flying. It ain't going slow, it's flying. Trey Seidel for the Oilers. Trey Seidel. Oilers game jersey. The game is a game, yeah. It really is, honestly, Greg. It really is. We got a Benson Young Guns for the Oilers. As it until we see some grades come out from the big three. Portrait of Konechny for the Flyers. MNT PSA Beckett. We'll find out if they somehow all grade the cards like normal. Predominant of Crosby for the Penguins. And the, and the sad news is, and this is just another being candid thing. Rookie retrospective of Suzuki for the Habs. If these all come out nine and a half or nines or whatever, do you think people honestly care if that's legit or not? I'm not trying to stir up any controversy, but do you honestly think people care about that? Barkov for the Panthers. And what I mean by that is I would bet you most of us in the room would agree that a PSA 10 is a very loose PSA 10. Very loose. Worldwide of McKinnon for the Avalanche. But yet, everybody will still pay the big bucks because it's a 10. Portrait of Zuccarello for the Wild. Zagadulin, Young Guns for the Calgary Flames. Young Guns of Nicholas Baudin for the Hawks. I don't know, so that'd be a French parallel, wouldn't it? French parallel of Keith Yandel for the Panthers. Geeky Young Guns for the Carolina Hurricanes. Hey, I will dress anything. Portraits of Ben Bishop for the Dallas Stars. As I said, I, I do want you guys always to understand. Predominant of Bertuzzi for the Red Wings. I am a little more integrated into the hobby, but I'm still a collector. So everything to me still matters to me. And my opinions are literally just my opinion. Just sometimes I know a few more things. Kind of like the supplier thing, as I said, about switching suppliers. But at the end of the day, I'm a collector, I'm a store owner. As I said, everything matters to me too. If something hurts the hobby, it hurts us. If something benefits the hobby, it benefits us. So, all I'm ever trying to do is make sure everything's good. <laughs> so, I appreciate you guys being happy that I'm candid with you guys. Patrick Kane portraits for the Hawks. I appreciate that. Shining stars of Bobby Hall for the Hawks. But that's why I have to sometimes just tell things that it is. Because I feel like some things are just... It gets in the public and it's unjust. Stamco's Tampa Bay Lightning canvas. It's like when people complain about redemptions. That literally is not upper deck doing that. That's always the players. Ovechkin for the Caps. So things like that is where I 
sometimes defend because I, I know how that stuff works. Berube, Young Guns for the Islanders. Daniel Sprong, Young Guns for the Penguins. Canvas of Tuka Rask for the Boston Bruins. I'm speaking to you. <laughs> on which part, sorry? Which one am I speaking to you on? All the redemptions. Kopitar. Portraits for the LA Kings. Young Guns. Our Tammy Panarin. As I said, Greg, you know what? I always respect everyone's opinions in this game. There's no right or wrong in how people think. Varlama for the Avalanche. It just sometimes it's... I feel like sometimes people bash up or deck for no reason on those things. Gets laugh for the Ducks. We got an exclusives. Kyle Turris. I, you know what, Derek? I'm very curious to see how Series 2 is going to be responded by. I don't know if it's going to be as crazy as Series 1 or if it could get to. Young Guns. Nick Patan, the canvas. Because at the end of the day, the biggest rookie will always outsell the consistent rookies. But I think Series 2 is going to be an animal. Shining Stars of Hopkins for the Oilers. What's up, Kirby? How you doing? But I truthfully, I, I, I think it'll be very similar to previous series where Series 2 is a better overall break, but it won't have as high end of a punch, obviously. We got an Alex Ovechkin jersey for the Caps. Like, I bet you Byfield will probably sell for about 75 to 100. He ain't going to touch anywhere near Lafreniere. Nick Cousins, Young Guns, for the Philadelphia Flyers. Shining Stars for the Hawks, Patty Kane. Lebes. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get the monster going. Let's get the monster going. Malcolm Subban, Young Guns, for the Boston Bruins. That's higher than you thought? I think off the bat he'll go that high. Young Guns, Miko Rantanen. The only thing blue shirts that both of us cannot predict is obviously they should be playing hockey by then. So if Byfield's cold, it, it'll go lower. If Byfield's crazy good, it'll go higher. And we got a Corey Perry rainbow for the Ducks. 